The development of rocket systems dates back to the early 20th century and has since rapidly evolved to play significant roles in military weaponry. Today, rocket systems such as the Hydra 70 are widely used and critical areas of research and development, with countries and companies around the world striving to improve their performance, efficiency, and safety. The Hydra 70 is an unguided rocket system used by the United States military since the 1940, with versatile applications ranging from anti-personnel and anti-vehicle attacks to illumination and smoke screening. But the question is, how effective is the Hydra 70 rocket system? First of all, let's have a look at its overview. The Hydra 70, a rocket system that originated in the United States, has a versatile production history spanning several decades. Its current model, the Hydra 70 rocket system, is widely used for air-to-ground and ground-to-ground -ground operations, making it a versatile weapon system. With a unit cost of $2,799, the Hydra 70 is an affordable option for military operations, and it is frequently employed by the United States military, as well as by other military forces worldwide. This rocket system has been in use since the Vietnam War, and has undergone several upgrades over the years, continually enhancing its performance and capabilities. Moving on to its specification, the Hydra 70 rocket system boosts advanced specification. Size. The Hydra 70 rocket system's weight is a crucial specification, with the Mark 66 Mod 4 rocket motor weighing approximately 13.6 pounds. The entire rocket, including the warhead, can weigh between 20 to 30 pounds, depending on the configuration. Its lightweight design allows for easy transport and deployment in the field, making it a popular choice for military operations. Measuring at 41.7 inches in length, the Hydra 70 rocket is compact, making it compatible with various platforms, including helicopters, fixed-wing aircraft, and ground-based launchers. It is also an ideal option for use in limited spaces, such as urban environments. With a diameter of 2.75 inches, the rocket can be launched from different launchers, including potted systems on aircraft and launch tubes on ground-based systems. The size of the rocket also improves its maneuverability during flight, allowing for precision during air-to-ground operations. Range. The Hydra 70 rocket system boasts great flexibility and maneuverability as a powerful weapon system. Its impressive performance is determined by various specifications, with one of the key factors being its muzzle velocity. With a velocity of 2,300 feet per second, the rocket achieves a high speed as it launches from the launcher, thus enhancing its accuracy and effectiveness by enabling it to quickly hit its target. Another notable specification is its effective firing range of five miles. This range denotes the maximum distance that the rocket can hit its target with precision. This firing range is considerably long, making it suitable for use in different environments, be it urban or rural areas, and in diverse combat situations. Moreover, the Hydra 70 rocket system has a maximum firing range of 6.5 miles. This range defines the farthest distance that the rocket can travel before dropping to the ground. Although the effective firing range is shorter than the maximum firing range, the latter is a vital specification that influences the rocket's overall performance. Given its long-range capacity, the Hydra 70 rocket system is ideal for use in open terrain or against distant targets. Speed and Guidance System the Hydra 70 rocket system has a maximum speed of 2,425 feet per second, which allows it to quickly reach its target and increase its accuracy. Unlike some other rocket systems, the Hydra 70 rocket is unguided, meaning it does not have a guidance system that can adjust its flight path during flight. Instead, it relies on its speed and trajectory to hit its target accurately. This lack of a guidance system makes the Hydra 70 more affordable and easier to produce, but it also means that it requires a skilled operator to aim and fire the rocket accurately. Launch Platforms The Hydra 70 rocket system is designed to be launched from a variety of platforms, including helicopters, fixed-wing aircraft, and ground-based launchers. The launch platform can significantly affect the performance of the rocket, as well as its overall effectiveness in combat situations. 
the Hydra 70 is compatible with a wide range of platforms, including the OH-58 Kiowa, UH-60 Blackhawk, MH-6 Little Bird, AH-1 Cobra, AH-1W Super Cobra, AH-1Z Viper, AH-64 Apache, Eurocopter Tiger, T-129 ATAC, OV-10 Bronco, A-10 Thunderbolt II, F-16 Fighting Falcon, F-A-18 Hornet, and P-3 Orion. Temperature Limit The Hydra 70 has specific temperature limits for both operational use and storage. The operational temperature ranges from minus 46 Celsius degrees to 66 Celsius degrees, which indicates the safe range of temperatures within which the rocket can be fired and utilized in combat situations. The system is designed to withstand extreme temperatures, both hot and cold, ensuring that it can be used effectively in a variety of environments. The storage temperature ranges from minus 54 Celsius degree to 71 Celsius degree. This temperature range assures that the rocket can be safely stored for long periods of time without affecting its performance or overall integrity. Proper storage is critical to maintaining the effectiveness and reliability of the Hydra 70 rocket system, especially in situations where it may need to be deployed quickly in response to a threat. Warhead. The Hydra 70 rocket system has three warhead types. Unitary warheads primarily used for high explosive applications, cargo warheads used for soft targets or large areas of effect, and training warheads for simulation. In specific, unitary warheads have impact detonating fuses or remote set multi-option fuses that can neutralize targets with a single impact. These warheads are particularly useful when targeting vehicles, personnel, or structures. Cargo warheads can be set to airburst and take out a group of targets with fixed standoff fuses or fuses set using the wall and space concept. Training warheads can be used to simulate the effects of actual warheads without causing damage, allowing operators to practice targeting skills safely. Average capabilities. The rocket system's average thrust at 1,415 pounds is the force generated during its flight path and is crucial for its performance in terms of speed and accuracy. The total impulse produced, 1,515 pounds per second, measures the force generated throughout the rocket's entire flight path, considering both its duration and force. This measure serves as a critical indicator of the rocket's overall effectiveness. The burning time of the rocket's motor at 25 Celsius degrees is 1.07 seconds, indicating the duration for which it produces thrust. This specification is crucial in determining the rocket's efficiency and effectiveness in combat situations. It determines how long the rocket can be used to target effectively and efficiently in the battlefield. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching.